me finish on the temptation thing. Just to remind you, there's some changes happening in the youth ministry which we'll see from the next month, which will be very effective. Because now I am working on the groundwork. We want to know who belong here or we just have faces. Are we clear? So today, I'm meeting all youth and teens after the second service. If you care to be a member of this ministry, you will wait. Whatever you have, you will cancel. I don't know where you are going for football, man. I don't care. This day you cancel that football thing for me. And I know, I know you may not agree with me. Yeah? But I'm happy he's running out of you. This is only today. Are we clear? Only today. And can we are immediately after the service. Immediately after what? You don't need to go eat like others. You can eat later. Is it true? Unless maybe your food is a very important issue. So if you consider yourself a youth and a teen of this church, you remain after the second. So because I am doing something, I'm sharing with the leadership and they gave me approval of it and they agreed with the idea. So we need to implement it as soon as possible. Why? Next Sunday there's no youth service because we have family Sunday. Next Sunday is family what? Family Sunday is having at 10 o'clock. Is it true? So if we're starting at 10 o'clock, there's no youth service. Let us all come and celebrate together as a family. Amen. As a what? Or it's only that those of us who are serving as technical choir, uh, we had agreed and the youth leadership, you should be here by around 8 30, okay? So that we can get time to pray and rehearse, okay? Okay, man, let, me, let me make it at 9 o'clock to be nice on you. Come at 9 o'clock, okay? So at least you sleep a little bit, yeah? Are you clear? You dream all your dreams, you want to dream. See, she likes being so happy. Hallelujah. Okay? So, family Sunday. So, there's no youth service next. So, don't come for youth service 7 30. There's no one will be here. Are we clear? 9 o'clock. Be here because service starts at 10. It's only one service. 10 to 1 o'clock. Three hour service. Family, so we know each other. So, if you consider yourself, ask your neighbor, do you consider yourself as a member of this church? What did they tell you? They are visitors. So there are a few people, you said, you said Cornelius and Collins, who are they? Are they here? Okay. There's no Cornelius here? There's no Collins here? Collins, sir? Huh? Oh, you're Collins. Oh, congratulations. Welcome back, sir. I, I, I had your CV, that's why I asked. I asked. I am a teachable person. I always want to know who is who. God bless you. I, I think I should buy you coffee. Please let me know when I can buy you coffee, Okay. Please, my date with you, okay? Thank you for the privilege. I appreciate it. Don't worry, bill will be taken care of, okay? Just show up with your stomach, okay? God will bless you in Jesus' name. Okay, so that's Collins, eh? The one was telling. So Cornelius is who? He's not here. Ah, so I look for Cornelius, amen? So if your name is not being mentioned, it means you're an absentee. Ask your neighbor, you're an absentee. <laughs> you see, I didn't know what he does. Until the leadership of me said, Daddy, what about this person? Have you thought about this person? He said, what, has he done? what does he do? Who is he, first of all? He said, I see people in church, but I will never know anyone's name. You are the ones who know their names. That's why Arnold is today saying, create relay. Stop staying away and you are a member of the church. Come together, sit with people. I asked them, if you are faced with a problem right now, Arnold, who will you run to? You are not supposed to run away from church. Church should be the first solution you should get. Friends in what? In church. Friends in church. But the Lord give you wisdom. In Jesus' mighty name. Now, temptation as I finish today. Wow. Woo. Thank God. What advice? First of all, we finished with number 10. I said, what is the best way of attaining freedom from the act of serving sin? I told you, confess. Confess. Tell your neighbor, I'll confess with you. Tell your neighbor, I am addicted to porn like you. Tell your neighbor, I watch porn like you. Tell your neighbor, I smoke like you. Hallelujah. I was about to say I watch a choir like you, but I for God forgive me. Hallelujah. <laughs> may we vote wisely. Are we clear? May we vote what? I won't tell you to vote for, but may God give you wisdom. Amen? Hallelujah. May the Lord give you wisdom. The fear of the Lord is what rules the land. It's not the wisdom of men. Are we clear? The fear of the what? I will totally agree with all the men of God who are sharing. We should only vote for people who fear God and after God's principles. Amen? Because by wisdom do kings reigns. By wisdom. And there's the wisdom from above. There's the wisdom of us. Books can cause confusion. Do you know books can make you an atheist? 
You know, I was reading until I reached a point I never believed God was there. Reading. Reading. Books. Hey, who has ever read until you start questioning if God is there? Hey, I said, is God even alive? I said, God, you cannot be alive. All these things are, they are, they are correct. They are, they are not lying. They are correct. Hey, until I saw God healing someone, I said, this book cannot heal someone like this. Amen. That's how my heart changed. May God give you wisdom. Amen. So, what advice can you give to those who sin knowingly with an attitude that there is a just God who forgives? Romans chapter 6 verse 14. Let us read that. What advice? Now, when you sin knowingly and you say there is grace, it means you are operating under the law. You are operating what? Under the what? The law. Yeah, the law. The word of God says this. The word of God says this. Grace does not encourage you. The law is what supports you. Now, for example, if I know this is my house and a thief enters, I can kill them. And I say it was out of defense. Out of defense. Is it true? But according to scripture, that's not right. Is it true? That is murder. But the law will support you. They will say they were in your jurisdiction. Is it true? So every time I do something and I say grace is available. No. That is meaning that I am defending myself with the law. Grace does not make you weak. Grace makes you great. Are we clear? Grace does not make you what? Grace makes you what? Tell you, but stop stealing from me from today. And saying it is the grace of God will forgive me. No. Romans 6, 14. Are we there? Have we been displayed? Let us read one together. One, two, three, go. Mm -hmm. Hey, the way you are reading. One, two, three, go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For sin shall do what? Not to have what? Sin cannot have dominion over, but you are not under the what? But under what? Grace will warn you. Grace will tell you you are doing the wrong thing. But the law will tell you, it's all right. It's what? God will forgive me. Tell anybody, it's all right. Tell anybody, you will lose your thumb. It is not all right. Grace will warn you. When you say working with grace, grace will tell you, this is not the subject of working in love. Okay? I've committed sin. And I remember grace telling me, you need to stop it. Grace telling me, this is not the right way to do, man of God. But no, I can quote for you scriptures why it is correct for me. Do not can show you from scriptures why it is correct to steal. Who asked me to show them that? Well, you are thieves, so I'm not showing you. I'm not showing you. So you, are, you, you, are, you, are, you allow things like that. Okay, who asked me to show you from the law, it's okay to drink alcohol. Because of them, now you are fearful. <laughs> the, the, that's why Christ did not come to support the law. But he did not bind away the law. He said the law is what will take you to the grace. Okay? That's when you will make yourself realize how much you need more of God than any other thing. Grace is not permission to sin. Grace is that warning that you should not sin. That you should depend on the grace of God not to succumb. Are we clear? But law will give you an excuse. Ask any lawyer who will find a way to defend you. How can they go to court and a lawyer will defend a thief? And the thief will win. Is it true? Because the law can be manipulated, but grace cannot be manipulated. Because why? Grace is a person. Grace is the personality of Christ. So if you are drinking alcohol and I say grace understands me, you are lying. There's no law grace there. Are we clear? Tell your neighbor, don't do it and then you think God will forgive like that. Grace. Hallelujah. Grace. Grace. Amen. May the Lord give you understanding in Jesus' name. May the Lord give you understanding in Jesus' name. Stop the law and ask for grace. So, I know he rests in my soul. Sorry, I was singing again. I know I'm singing in my heart. My spirit is really singing. No, the law. Okay, wow. I should just sing. I think so. Eh? Yeah, uh, yeah. The law. When you have the law, you will say, God, uh, you know, you understand. It is my weakness. God, you understand. It is my what? 
Tell your neighbor, God does not understand weakness. Because there's nothing written in weakness. He says you are not weak. You are strong. Hallelujah. So can you subject yourself to grace? Grace will tell you, do not. And you'll tell God, oh Lord, I know what I'm doing is wrong. Help me overcome it. Okay? Tell your neighbor, I will stop kissing you from today. Tell your neighbor, I've been kissing you in my dreams. You don't know that. Tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, I will stop stealing from you today. I will stop lying to you. I will stop exaggerating. Hallelujah. Are we clear? It's a law and grace issue. Are we clear? It's a law and grace what? So please, you can't say the law, I will forgive me. The Bible says his masters are new every morning. No. The Bible does not say his masters are new every morning for you to continue sinning. Are we clear? The law tells you what God will do. That is good. But grace will tell you do not sin because it has a damnation. It will, call, it will make your soul dark. It will make you not be teachable. Are we clear? Hallelujah. Tell anybody I forgive you. Mwambie, I forgive you. Mwambie, I forgive you today. You guys have never eaten someone with your eyes? Who has ever eaten someone with their eyes like me? Hey, kwani niko peke yangu? Oh, Maryan, thank you for always supporting. Hey, I want to know mko na nijoni kwa watu ngapi kwa kama mimi yuko ligi moja. Tunakula mtu mpaka ndiko, "Eish, eish." That man is handsome, man. That girl, woo! Agidi baye. <laughs> See, they are baby like saints, and you know yourself. You are busy saving someone as a profile picture. At Cristiano is my husband. He's not your husband. <laughs> eh? How many ladies have said Cristiano as a husband? Eh? You are just looking for his photos in Instagram in the pool. I say, oh my God, that body. How many men have looked for Beyonce? Eh? Rihanna. Eh? Yes, you know. You're, you're going through magazines and say, what? Thank you, Jesus. I can feel the power. Why do people struggle with blaming God when they are tempted? I'll answer simple. That's dependency of ideology. Is an idea? Yeah. Is you having an ideology of blaming God? Why are you blaming God? Was God eating with you, cassava? When the people are fasting. Who ate and gave God? Tell your neighbor, when you are kissing that person, who was God with you? Did you co-share with God? Ask, why are you looking at me? Ask your neighbor, when you are stealing, when you are lying, was God with you lying? Was God with you? Was God with you? Then why are you telling us, that he, uh, uh, God, why did you allow me? God did not allow you. You allowed yourself. You did what? Tell your neighbor, stop allowing yourself and calling the name of God there. Yeah, the Lord is that God is stronger, so he should save you. Hey God, God, where are you? John chapter 8, verse 36. Hey God is strong. God should save me. Why did God allow me? God did not allow you. I've come to agree. Everything I've done wrong, God did not allow me. Because he was not there. If he was there, will it even have happened? So you'll have paralyzed me. God can never go against your will. Tell your neighbor, if you go clubbing again, don't say it is God. Tell your neighbor, you can't go to You Don't say God was with you. If you go back to smoking, don't say God. Are we clear? It is you. You are the reason. You are doing it, and you know you are doing it. Don't blame. Don't depend on God on that one. You and you go back to gambling. Tell your neighbor, continue gambling. You will be poor. Tell your neighbor, you will be very poor with your gambling skills. Tell you, oh, you try to come here gamble. Okay. Tell anybody stop gambling. God was not there. Are we clear? Pata potea. When you talk about po, you you even use your head. They say pata potea. It means you receive and guess it disappears. Potea is fast, last, not fast. When you say ma potea pa, pata. But when you say pata u pote, potea. It's getting lost. Today you gamble, you get 5,000, you start screaming, yeah! Tomorrow you go gamble, you lose everything. Even you sell your sofa set. They fool you. They bait you. Sport pressure, betting, 
What is the other one? Stop pretending you're holy. You know yourself. Betika. What is the other one? Jumbo bet. Even you know her. Congratulations. Another one. Eh? At what? Betwig. Betway. Hey. Paka kuna way. The way to bet. Betway. That's uh, another one. At what? Mozart. Mozart. Wow. Another one. Bet lion. Bet lion. Wow. The lion is betting with you. <laughs> You will be poor. I'm telling you, you will be so poor. Ask me. I've never bet to get where I am. You work hard. Tell anybody you work. You think. To make it. There's no money called small. Stop looking for easy money. Are you in the book of John? As I conclude, John chapter 8, verse 36. What does it say? Yeah. So, how can you blame the one who's making you free? How many of us are blaming God? Yeah. You cannot blame the man who makes you free. You are free in. Then lastly, how does scripture counsel us to overcome sin's attractions? There are only three ways. The only what? To overcome sin. Number one is to flee. Is to what? Tell anybody about flee. Not walk. Tell anybody about flee. I'm telling you, Money will be seated there at 1,000. You're looking at it as not yours. But if you don't run away at that moment, you walk, you will walk back and pick it. Second Timothy 2.22. What does it say? Second Timothy 2.22. Number one, how do you overcome sin? Flee. Number one is flee. Second Timothy 2. What does it say? What does it say? Are you there? If you shout aloud, amen. Read together. One, two, three, go. Yeah, it's a last. You can't run away from someone. You may see someone you like them. But the best way, don't put yourself in a position with that person that you know you'll melt. Are we clear? You, you know there's one person if you stand with, you cannot stand. Is it true? Who has ever stood with someone that you can never stand next to them? You just feel like your legs are becoming weaker. The, the, the complexity of the individual just complicates you. Who has ever stood next to someone that they, they are anointing, they are, they are look, they are Roma. Woo, they are so handsome. Hey, your legs are just wobbling. I know. You the Ethiopian girls, you have never, because you know you are a relationship manager, you have never stood with a girl and they said, you have. Wow, how was the experience? At the moment is that, flee. Do what? That woman can, I think, can tell you, I know some assault, you will some assault. I don't know why you are some assaulting. Flee. Or do what? Flee. Yes. I remember when I was young, I could not hug some girls because some girls were too beautiful to be hugged. They will tempt you when you hug them. So don't hug them. Just say, God bless you. Sister. But those who hug, you feel nothing. Those you hug, you feel electricity. So which one is better? I don't want to be electrocuted. Is it true? Is what I say so? Sober. Because the moment she asks you, you will not even listen to the pastor. You are just looking at them. I said, Jesus, that hug was for mine. You really love me. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Tell your neighbor, don't hug me if you know you'll be electrocuted. Tell your neighbor, don't, don't, sh don't even shake my hand. Tell your neighbor, don't even shake my hand. Just tell me, God bless you. Some of you hug people and you die. You die there. You die. You are just walking dead. You are not even thinking or thinking straight. You say, oh, where are you going? I don't know. I say, what do you mean you don't know? <laughs> the hug confused you. Tell them, but don't hug me. Or I, know, I know you will suffer. I'm so handsome. I'm so beautiful. Am I saying the truth? Am I saying the truth? There are some people, if you hear their voice, you start like... <laughs> Wow. Do you have anything to say? No. I was just listening to your voice. We are not even listening to what I'm saying. You are listening to my voice? Flee. Tell about flee. Number two, resist. Number two, do what? Resist it. Resist that desire. Do you know you always have the desire to sin, to have, to watch pornography, to have 
sex to masturbate, the, the desire will be there. Just resist. It will not go. It, but the Bible knows. The God knows it will be there. That's why there's no temptation that God has not provided a way. Just resist it. Are we clear? That's what? When you are fasting, you see food. Just food, just idle there. Just saying, hello, how are you, bros? I am here waiting for you to eat me. I say, I'm fasting. Don't say you're fasting. I'm available. I'll get cold. And he says, why are you talking to me, food? Why, why are you food, food? Why are you talking to me, seriously? Can't you say I'm waiting on the Lord? I say, for me, I'm waiting on you. <laughs> Who has ever had a conversation with food? Have you ever had a conversation with food? These people who don't fast, you don't know what it means. Why Fast! Then you know how food talks to you. And especially at around 11 o'clock. I don't know why it starts at 11 o'clock. I have really wondered why it starts at 11. You say, let, let me just take hot water. Ay, you realize you've added manjani and you've added sugar. <laughs> You're taking black tea. You say, Father, understand. I am not taking milk. I'm not using protein. I'm just taking... Eh? Hey. Have you ever, ever had a discussion of food? Me, I, I have. I say, why are you doing this right now? Why? Say even you, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Pastor Food even will encourage you. You are alone. No one is watching you. And um, remember, man of God, the Lord will forgive your sins. It is only for today. He will understand. Remember, it's three days of fasting. Today is day one. Day two and day three will do well. Hey! Day two. Uh, uh, <laughs> who has been there with me? Hey, you must fast. Some of us don't fast. I know. Then you are quiet. You don't fast. You have never enjoyed this thing we have enjoyed. We know we are laughing. We know it is. It is serious. Resist it. Do what? Resist it. Hey, who has ever been called with a beautiful girlfriend? There's a day a lady locked me in the toilet with her. She's still naked. I said, Jesus. I said, what will I do? I said, For sorry, I forgot my phone. Let me go pick it. I never returned. That's how I left the house and I went away. I've never been locked in the toilet with a woman. Never I will look for that anointing. It's very dangerous. <laughs> we were in a friend's place. We were having a party. I remember I was still young. I was trying to find Christ. I was still young like you guys still are knowing Christ. I said, let us go there. We were having a party. I remember it was somewhere in Langata. A city called Sun Valley. You know it? I, I've never forgotten. So I said, I don't know where the toilet is because the toilet below was having someone. I said, let me take you upstairs. I said, ah. Mimi na kimbele mbele Twende. Entered the bathroom, she entered after me and she locked the door. I said, hey, 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 hey. I said, I want to use the washroom. I said, what are you doing? I said, I want to participate. I said, participate in my process. <laughs> Just so the girls moving. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. I said, yeah. Everything disappeared. There's no need of the toilet now. I said, what are you doing? I said, I'm available today. I've been waiting for this. They said, hey, I've forgotten something by the way. Let me pick it in case they call us. Eh? They will find me. Is it true? That's how I left that estate. I never returned to that estate till now. <laughs> I was paralyzed. I was what? Who has ever been locked by a woman or by a man? Oh, so you guys have not gone through temptation. Ask me. Professional temptator. <laughs> <laughs> John, James 4, 7. You have ever seen so, seen calling you like this? Come, come, baby, come, 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 baby, come. Ina kena kupigia mataza gari. Ni dhambi na kuambia niko hapa. Unaniona? Can you see me? Hey. Nana meikuwa tempted if you, wenu nona tumika mataza na kupigia tu. Nikule hii, manena ama nisikule bwana. Hey, God. James 4, 7, what does he say? One, two, three, go. You want to say? Resist. Do what? I'm telling you, sin is sweet. Who can agree with me? Sin is sweet. Have you ever had sex with a woman who's not your wife? It's so sweet. Eh? Have you ever had sex with someone who's not your girlfriend? Your boyfriend. Who has ever had sex with someone who's not their boyfriend and their girlfriend? And you know you are cheating. I was there. Me, for me, I've cheated. Thank you, Kelly. And Thank you. They don't know what it feels like. It is so sweet. Oh, muko wengi. Mwenye majifa nyetu hapa. Like man of God. Mimi se ni mkono leo. Leo kopeke yako. Na siko peke yangu tuko pamoja. 
Ambea ambea rafiki yako si ni mbugi moja. <laughs> Who has ever used someone's money that is not your money? So sweet, eh? You just spend it, eh? Ata uogopi, leta ingine. <laughs> Iko nini? Na pesa sio yako. <laughs> the devil. Can you resist the devil? Who will start resisting the devil with me today? Because tomorrow temptation will come, okay? Watakwekia bia hapa Smanoff. Na unasema ni meokoka. Lakini unasikia kwa Smanoff anakwambia, "Hey, can I call Johnny Walker?" Hey! Johnny Walker again. Father in the name of Jesus. Kwa imara kama simba. Hey! Who has ever been tempted with alcohol? Like you just see it there. It's idling, looking at you, say, waving at you, say, "Hello, I am here. Can you see me?" Resist the day. Resist him. Who has ever felt like masturbating? You feel like masturbating. There it is. Porn going on. You, are, you are yourself at home. There's free internet. First the day, that's the time you want to visit your uncle. There's just free internet. There's no buying data. That's the day you unleash yourself. Unleash the dragon. Thank you, Dickens. Watch out my holy Joe. Wanajijua? And while I'm picking Duruk on you, hey, what is happening? They're masturbating. Yes. Resist the urge. Resist what? When you feel like that, go to the bathroom shower. I'm a talker when you can be. Talker when you can be. Go exercise. That's why I say exercise is good for a young person. When you see young men not exercising, it's very dangerous. Take walks as young men. Take what? Yes. When I, I have weights in my, uh, my room, it's only my wife doesn't want me to continue carrying weights, but when I feel I'm getting beside, I carry the weights, I start pushing them. Resist. Take a walk. Take a run. By the time you run and come back, there'll be no more fire. But you're sitting there just saying, God, deliver me. God, don't say you pray that time. Resist him. Do what? Resist the devil. Yeah. Or call me. I pray in tongues with you. By the time you start, you'll be further delivered. And lastly, submit yourself to God. Do what? Know the knowledge of God is supreme. Submit yourself what? You guys have been, I think you enjoy laughing more than even listening to the message. Eh? Are you understanding what I'm preaching? What do I say number one you do? Flee. Don't walk. Torok and be? Flee. Number two? Number three, because I'm telling you that young man, that beautiful lady is coming very soon. And if you're not careful, you will go under. That's why I always say, and I've been sharing with my daughters, you can never base love on sex. Sex is not the proof of loving someone. Are we clear? I can love you and never be intimate with you. How many of us believe in that? Are you sure? Then why do you always remove your pants? Ask your neighbor, why do you always remove your pants? Why are, you, why are you looking at me? I say, ask your neighbor, why do you always remove your pants? Sakidogo tumeshika joto. Chuma areli. Please. I can love you without removing my what? Do you believe in that? And that's why it's so difficult for people to understand in this generation that I can love you without having sex with you. This generation believes if I love you, I must have sex with what? You know, it's not a must. It, it's not a must. The true test of a man who loves you is to, the one who can stay without touching you. Yes. Ask your neighbor, Unasema Aje. 